I think AI has a role in every part of a patient's uh, surgical journey, before surgery, during the surgery itself, and I think most interestingly after surgery. Um, when we recover from surgery, the journey doesn't stop once we go home. Uh, recovery times can be weeks and weeks and to get back to your usual level of functioning and get back to work. At each time that we leave hospital, um, we are at increased risk of having complications from surgery. And AI's got a real potential to provide monitoring and um, safety needing to ensure that we can mitigate and prevent some of these complications and enhance the recovery that you're able to achieve at home. AI has also got a lot of potentials for the healthcare systems. Um, we're already seeing some applications in New Zealand uh, where we're using automated algorithms to triage really long um, waiting lists, um, so getting people um, prioritised and into clinics a, ahead of time, and algorithms can help um, prioritise that based on need, um, so the right patients are seen at the right time. The, the use of AI in surgery is a really emerging field. Um, we're seeing a lot of exciting research uh, looking at what we call computer vision, where AI is trying to learn what surgeons see, um, what the surgical instruments look like, what the different organs look like, and the potential there is to identify um, abnormal anatomy or um, what the safest approach to an operation might be um, using virtual reality and augmented reality to plan ahead of surgeries which could be really useful and cutting out cancers and things like that. Currently I think some of the most important limitations to overcome are issues with data privacy um, and ethics. Um, AI is based on building models from lots and lots of data and ensuring that the data we feed into these algorithms are unbiased and aren't perpetuating uh, existing inequities in our data sets and our research. Um, so really ensuring um, that what we feed into these models and train these models on is uh, really robust um, and um, achieving the best outcomes for our patients. In terms of what's next for New Zealand, I think there needs to be a big focus on investing in our digital infrastructure. Uh, right now we have hospitals across the country using different health uh, care systems that don't communicate with each other and there's a real potential to unify um, our healthcare data systems uh, with Tifatu Order um, and bring in everyone's uh, data in a safe and robust manner to ensure um, that we can keep abreast and be leaders in the field as we integrate AI technologies into healthcare.